Each week, we follow the boss of a major organization to see the problems from the inside out. This is Undercover Boss. All schools go through their fair shares of tough times. Many hardworking teachers put up with troublesome students every day, but how well do they handle it? Here we are at Heritage High School, and luckily, they have a proud principal who truly cares. Mr. Frank Garce will be trading in his comfy rolling chair and desk in for a plastic red one. He will assume his new identity as Robert Ekro. Yo, 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 what up? Roger. I'm fine right here. Too slow. And pose as a hip new student. Was George Washington, like, really president? <laughs> Dude, Wargo's class is way better than this class. <laughs> we first see him joining Mr. Davis in his U.S. history class. Say, Brandon, aren't you like from Arkansas or something like that? It's Montana. Class, as you can tell, we have a new student. Would you like to uh, stand up and tell us where you're from? Sure thing, B Dog. What up, homies? My name's Robert, but you can call me anytime. I really do want to capture the whole student experience again, so I'm trying to have some fun with it. Class, before we begin anything, I just need to clarify something to you. I'm not from Arkansas, I'm from Montana, up by Canada. No speed limits, country music. Pickups and really nice people. Hey, you play the guitar? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, play a little. The new kid seems to be pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can I try? Watch yourself out. All right. Spoke too soon. Okay, class, today we're going to learn about the six trigonometric functions. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Uh, yeah. Okay, that was strange. Um, Robert, do you even know the six functions? Uh, yeah. Uh, D equals square root of parentheses, x2 to the square cube, y2, d2. Uh, alright. Who, who can give me the right answer? Is this kid for real? Oh my god, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I really did not understand what students meant by school being hard. <laughs> I fully understand now. So, what do I think of Robert? Oh boy. Well, he has potential. Some. Really bad taste in educators, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know the truth? Robert uh, is really a, a nice kid. All right, guys, so um, as you guys are working on those papers, I'm going to start calling you guys up to check the grade class essays, the last ones you did. Um, there are a few things I want to go over. And then after I, uh, take care, after I talk to each one of you, um, you'll have a chance to rewrite those essays if I finish everybody today. Only if I finish everybody today. So make sure you guys keep doing your work. Hey, why don't we start with you, Robert? Come on up. I haven't written an essay since grad school. Robert is not the um, best writer, but with me as his teacher, anything can happen because I'm the greatest teacher on this campus. So, do you sit down with every one of your students at this? Yeah, I sit down with every student multiple times throughout the year so that they can really go over their individual mistakes because everybody has their own issues in their writing and I want to improve all of them. 
I bet that makes your principal feel so proud. Who's he kidding? We all know who it is. I'm 99% sure it's that guy who played Coco, Mr. Arce. I am honestly 100% sure that nobody suspects that it's me. I guess it'll make him happy that I like my job. Should I mess with him? Hmm, nah. Mr. Frank Arce has one more class to go to. All right, ladies and gents, it's another day. We all have projects that we need to be working on. So let's get to work. Hey, so how's this Kalantar guy as a teacher? Uh, he's cool. He just doesn't like when people eat in his class. Oh, okay. Robert seems to be a little old for a high school kid, but hey. Seems like a nice guy. The new kid reminds me of someone. Someone that I see every day. What is that smell? Are you eating in my class? Maybe. Well, can you like not? I don't know. Can I? Oh, almost dropped it. Don't you dare. Okay, I won't. Even though we haven't known each other for a long time, this kid likes to test me. But I think we'll be all right. What was that? Nothing. Robert, pick up your foot. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Robert. Pick up your foot now, or else I'm going to send you to the principal's office. Did you hear him? Send you to the principal's office. Little does he know. Did no one tell you how I feel about eating in this classroom? Yeah, yeah, he did. And yet you still did it. But I skipped breakfast. I don't care if you have to skip breakfast. I skip breakfast all the time, even though it doesn't look like it. Look, I don't need rubby little fingers all over this brand new equipment. What do you not understand about that? I have no idea what just happened. Robert and I will not get along just fine. Now that Mr. Arce has gone through one whole week posing as a student, it is time to reveal to his teachers that he is their boss. Robert. What are you doing? What's going on, Robert? I just want to ask you a quick question. Oh, okay, Robert. Do you know who I am? Yes. You truly actually know who I am? I think so. I am. You are... Your, Your proud, proud principal, Mr. Arce. Yeah, I kind of already knew. <laughs> I knew something was up! Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? It's been me the whole time. Anyway, uh, one of the things I've realized now that I've been in the shoes of a high school student is, you know, with all the AP exams and all the standardized tests and all the stress and nights without sleep, I've just realized it's not hard enough. Does nobody else notice that this kid has a gray beard? <laughs>